we've been dealt here, Holly, it's not a fairy tale. It's real. It's cold and godless. No one will give a damn whether we live or die in this hellhole. I've been watching you for some time now. You fight like the devil's after you. Is that because you have something to prove? Or perhaps you have a debt yet to be paid? My contact says you have work for us? It appears your reputation is true. Yeah, and what do they say about me? Oh, I've heard many things about the Catwoman, but mainly that you're a money-loving, cold-hearted bitch. Cute. There are also rumors that you and the Batman share specific uh, rooftops and alleyways here in Gotham. However, had I even suspected that you were a snitch, you'd have one nasty gash across your throat by now. I hear the jobs you offer pay well. Obviously, it's to compensate for that obnoxious personality. What's with the voice? What's with the mask? We all have our secrets, don't we? I didn't come here to be interrogated. Do you have work for us or not? I do. I need you to kidnap and bring this person to me. Kidnap? I'm sorry, that's not really our thing. And you speak for your partners as well? Excuse me? You run with a rather shady group of characters, correct? Would they feel the same as you about this job opportunity? We're thieves, not kidnappers. <laughs> I find it interesting that you would protect the honor of a known terrorist like Pamela Lily and Eisner. But then there's Harley Quinn, a certified psychopath, baptized in madness by the clown himself. <laughs> you don't know my crew. You don't know me. The antidote for 50 enemies is one friend. I believe I know you better than you know yourself, Miss Kyle. How do you know my name? I know many things about you, Selena. I know that you're a charlotte, pretending to be a villain. Well, you've earned the kinship of those wretched creatures just so you could fit in. I imagine this was after you dissolved your partnership with Black Mask. But how long do you really think you can deceive your surrogate family? Are we done? This was just a test of your morals. Fact of the matter is I could use a good team of thieves. The job is yours. When can you start? I'll get back to you. Ivy has trained you well, little kid. You have one week to decide, and if by chance you're still living, the job is yours. So, how did last night's meeting go? It the job wasn't for us. Is that so? Yes, Ivy, it didn't pan out, okay? Hmm. Well, that's that. If you have something to say, spit it out. I'm just wondering if it didn't pan out for us. Look, I've been more than cooperative with all your rules, so cut me some slack. I made a judgment call. I like you, Selena. You're not like Harley. You're like me. I am nothing like you. Oh, get over yourself. With all your moral and righteousness tugging at your heartstrings. In this business, That'll get you killed. But that's why you're with me, right? Because you want to learn how to stop caring. Got it all figured out, don't you? But I'm pretty sure it's the money that keeps me interested. 
and I respect your survival instinct. But all the money in the world can't buy the loyalty and aid of a true friend. Is that what you think Harley is? A true friend? To most people, Harley Quinn is a lovesick psychotic. But it takes a truly cynical mind to realize that we are all capable of a love so dark. However, that madman, the Joker, he'll never truly understand the depths of her affection. And you believe you do. I know what it feels like to be abused by a man, and that, my angel, is why I hate all of mankind. Look at what they do to us. They clip, they prune. They try so desperately to turn us into what they want us to be. A Madonna, a whore, a partner, a foe. Unbeknownst to them, you're always responsible for the things you create. More or less. But how? Am I still alive? I was actually hoping you could answer that for me. In fact, that's the only reason why you're still breathing. Though we could remedy that little mistake. No, Pamela, wait. Now, I, I know you're upset. Upset? I panicked. After that last experiment, you flatlined, for God's sake. <laughs> Don't you understand? If the firm knew about our experiments, we'd be finished. We? <laughs> These were never our experiments, Jason. I was just naive enough to let you fill me with those toxins. My heart, I felt it stop. I want to know why I'm still alive. The treatment. The, the treatments, they must have somehow altered your physiology. Those injections were made from various plant poisons and experimental viruses. Yeah. 
You tried to kill me! Pamela, that's not true. Uh, Look, we have to forget how we got here. <laughs> you yourself are a scientist. Pamela, your body could be the key to unlocking millions of cures. Maybe even death itself. Who else knows about this? No one. This is our discovery. Together, you and I can unlock the mysteries of this miracle. Pamela, I'm sorry for what I did to you. Let me make amends for this horrible mistake. I'll help you. Please, let me help you. I will help you. I promise. see why Quinn follows you. Look, last night... Forget about it. After tonight's job, we won't be needing it. After tonight, we'll be contending with Gotham's most elite. Besides, you're a smart woman, Selena. Women like us, we don't owe explanations or apologies. Yeah, and why is that? Because we are exactly as nature intended us to be. Mankind will never be able to tame us. In the eyes of society, we are poison. Pamela, hey, I call you Pamela. Good. Now, you're obviously a very educated woman, despite the vagabonds you consort with. So I have to ask myself, why am I looking at this outdated piece of technology? What the hell is he talking about? Edward. The blueprints were quite explicit in telling us where to look. I assure you that was the only thing there. Now, it's... It's not that I don't believe- well, who are we kidding? Of course I don't believe you. Frankly, I don't care because I'm not paying for it. What a lot of bull! I told you we couldn't trust this geek. If I were you, I would choose my partners a little more carefully next time. You'll have to excuse Harley. She's a little confused, as am I. You see, the girls and I put a lot of time and effort into planning this job for you. A job that you said you would pay a substantial amount of money for. I don't need you to recite to me the details of our deal. Now, you promised me the latest in wave technology, and frankly, that's not what I've been given. Well, it's not our fault if you supply the faulty intel. I am never wrong. You three bought the job, and I'm not paying a dime. He has the 
Selena, what's your point? My point is we don't get paid if she damages the software or kills Enigma. <laughs> Silly Riddler. So now, what was it that you called me earlier? A vagabond? Pretty big word there, egghead. So you see, you don't look so tough anymore without all your muscle around you. Now listen, I have a riddle for you. Who's gonna die on the count of three? One. Okay, okay, you win. You, you got the disc, I can get you the money. Just get me to a phone. Get oh, right yeah, Eddie, you seem off way past that. <laughs> Two. No, no, seriously, you win. You got the disc, I can get you the money. I said I don't want your money! <laughs> Hand over the disc, Harley. What the hell do you think you're doing? Since when do we turn down cash for revenge? Hand over the disc and Edward and I are out of here. Oh, what's the matter, kitty cat? You don't like the way I conduct business? Look, I don't want to hurt you, Harley. I just want the disc. Hand it over and get out of the way. What did you do? Looks like you're stuck here with the rest of us. The vagabond. Don't worry. It's not a long stay. That's enough. Harley, I said that's enough. Take Edward, put him in the trunk of the car. He's coming for a ride with us. What about her? She needs a brief lesson. We don't threaten our own, no matter how large the sum of money. Selena's out. Let go. I'll be there in a minute. So desperate to hide your true nature, you betray even those that have a kindred spirit to you. I'm not a killer. No, you're not a killer. But you're a thief. You're a criminal, Selena. When I found you, you were this pathetic little runt eating out of trash cans. Few people get the chance you had, babe. I paid good money to teach you how to fight and steal for me. This is the thanks I get. Why the hell would you risk stealing from me anyway? To support that little rat you picked up on the streets? You know, we weren't born killers either, my angel. But the world has a way of taking all things good and pure and tainting them for the worst. Who exactly are you pretending to be right now, honey? The thief, the enforcer, or the prostitute? Because you sure as hell would never pass for the mother of the stinking year. And as for that little bitch, she's dead. When I find her, she's dead. You choose to ignore that sad reality, don't you? Harley would have killed you by now, but you know what? I'm gonna give you a chance. Maybe you'll crawl out of here and you'll find some help. More likely, you'll have to stay here bleed out and die. Who knows? See how many lives you got left, little kitty. <sighs> That's quite a story, Miss Kyle. And you have no idea who your mysterious savior was. 
It's like I said, I woke up at Gotham General. You don't find it strange that some hero went through all this trouble to conceal your identity? Just to get you, a known criminal, medical care? For all I know, it could have been you. Oh, I can assure you, it was not. Is that job offer still available? <laughs> you can't really be serious. You, my dear, have lost your team and given your ex-partners the means to challenge Gotham's most powerful crime organizations. Namely mine. Why would I hire you now? You're just one woman. Do you really think that you can compete with Harley and Ivy? You're right. Pamela is smart enough to take on you and all of Gotham. But grant me the resources, and I promise you, I will take down both Harley and Ivy.